Hi, everybody. It's and we're back for the part two. As you can see, there's a board here. It's the Pokemon like layout board. We already went over energy trainers and all that stuff and how the Pokemon cards actually work. But now we're gonna review. Well, not review, but tell you the pattern. So, this is the board, or at least one side. Here's the deck. That's where you put all your Pokemon. For example, let's just take these cards. They may be in a messy pile, but whatever. We don't have the time to organize. And, well, remember the health? Yeah. So once that Pokemon runs out of health, you put it in the discard po pile. Say this giraffe egg was knocked out, then you would put it in the discard pile. And Same, and if it had energies on it, the energies would go with it. Yep. Not like this giraffe egg would have that energy. It's only one energy, but whatever. But it might so, have been knocked out before they were able to get all their energy. Pump. Yeah. So... And this is the basic layout, and prize cards you could play with, but honestly, I don't prefer it. I'm going to still go over it, because some people like to play with prize I cards. Do. <laughs> I do. Yeah, so here's how this prize cards... To, just saying, you can't have it your own custom way when you go to a tournament. Yes. So, we're going to have to r go over everything, even the rules we don't use. So here are the prize cards. Normally they would be flipped over, but let's actually flip them over, right? Whatever. And also you would have six, and it's okay if they overlap. Yeah. So you would that's have definitely not how you set them up. Yeah, that's not that's not how you set them up. But we're just gonna do it like that because we're in a hurry. It's already two minutes. So we have we have the deck. We have the active Pokemon. Well, and we have the discard pile and these guys. So, let's go over the typing. Now, Logan, one of I'm Grissom, whatever. It's it's kind of your 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 YouTube name is long, so how about a whatever? You could just call me by my first name. So, anyways, I since you're an expert, how can we tell water from ice and rock? from ground and fighting. How's how is it an easier way to do that? Because you because you could be like struggling to figure out what it is if you're new to the game. Well, um if you have the game, like your the video game, you would be they actually have their own special like differences, but I'm guessing what they did is they just didn't have enough time so they just put them as the same yeah. symbol. So, so that's one way, but if you don't have the game, well, well then you're going to have to guess. And the and easiest way to guess is by looking at it. What do you think that is? Rock, ground, or fighting? Well, Sometimes when it's when it's that brown symbol, it can't you it could be hard to tell. But whenever it's an ice type, you know it's an ice type because it's always because uh, it always has some form of ice, and especially this Kiram. He is an ice type, and he has, like, ice, icy wings and, like, ice all around him in the background. So you could, so that way you could clearly tell. And if you want to be weird and just go ahead and look, instead of actually looking up in the corner, fire... Energy always stays the same, but with Psychic, you're going to have to guess. There's a few energies where you're going to have to guess, well, but... Poison and Psychic are pretty easy to tell apart from the yeah. picture, yeah. the art that they show. Yep. But it's also pretty difficult to tell the difference between Rock and Ground but with the Rhyhorn card, but Rhyhorn is actually Rock and Ground. Yep. So that's the confusing part, too. They could be both. So, anyways. And sometimes you'll see, like, a poison bug type. Sometimes you'll see, um, you'll, if, let's just use Whirlipede as an example. Sometimes you'll see. You'll see guys like him who yeah, are like, poison and bug. You'll, you'll see, you'll, you'll sometimes see him as the psychic symbol. And then sometimes you'll see him as a grass symbol. 
Yeah. But most likely, the most common is the team as a psychic symbol, because its main typing is poison. Okay. Now, let's go over, well, I think we did most.